Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a super duper, super duper exciting video because today is going to be the intro to round 6 of the Roulette Pan Collab. And most of you are probably familiar with this project by now, but basically this is a collaboration that was started by Rebecca and I. And today is actually the two year anniversary since we posted the first intro to the first round of this project, which is really exciting. And so many amazing things have happened since we posted that intro. Rebecca and I actually got to meet earlier this summer when she came here to Sweden, which was amazing. It was so, so, so much fun. <laughs> Uh, meeting her and getting to hang out with her and she's just such a lovely person so if you haven't checked out her already I will have her listed in the description box so we can go as I said and check her out and she also recently hit 7,000 subscribers so I think you should go immediately to her channel after you've watched this video and wish her a congratulations for hitting 7,000 subscribers because that is amazing but yeah Let's just get into what this project is all about. So basically we have a list of 50 categories and then we randomly pick six of those categories and then pick six products corresponding to those categories. And it's a rolling project so if you hit your goal on an item then you roll or you randomize a new category and then you pick a new product for that category. And anyone who wants to join in can join in and there will be a playlist linked in the description box for everyone who posts their intro here on YouTube and then if you want to check out everyone on Instagram there is a hashtag which is roulette pan collab and if you want to join in it's just to do it <laughs> just post your intro there will be a link to the spreadsheet with the categories in my description box so you can just randomize six categories and then just just do it, just post your intro and if you want to you can let me know down in the comments if you have and I can go and check it out. I am very good with like, I follow the roulette pan collab hashtag on Instagram and I do watch uh, the playlist here on YouTube so I will probably see it but if you want to make sure you can just leave a comment down below. But yeah, uh, I think that's it for the information hopefully, I hope so. <laughs> so I think it's time to just go ahead and get into this Product. So as I said we have 50 categories but I have gone through most of the categories so I actually have only have 9 left and my goal with this round is to completely go through all of the categories so I need to pull 6 now and then my goal is to hit my goal on 3 products at least so that I can pull in the rest of the categories because that would be awesome. So I'm gonna pull up pretty random on my phone and then as I said I'm gonna put, put in 1 through 9 and then we're just gonna randomize. So first is 8 and that is something from a lesser known brand. Okay and then we have number 4 which is an item from your favorite brand and this was the one that I was most kind of nervous about because I have no idea which my favorite brand is but I'm gonna have to figure that out. So number three is going to be five which is an item in your favorite shade which is one that I have had before but I had to declutter the item and then I just decided to just keep the category. And then the next one is going to be two which is a product you bought because of YouTube. Number five is going to be six which is a product from NYX. And then the last one is going to be, hmm, we, only got, we already got four, one, a drugstore product. So these numbers do not correspond with the categories for you, it's just because I only have nine, so um, yeah, they have, will have different numbers for you. But okay, so I got a drugstore product, a product you bought because of YouTube, an item from, uh, an item from your favorite brand, an item in your favorite shade, a product from NYX and something from a lesser known brand. So I'm gonna pull out some products for those category and then I'm gonna show them to you. Okay so I'm back and I think that I picked some nice products so let's just go through them. I'm going to start from the top of my list and that is a drugstore product or a, a drugstore item and for that one I'm going to go with this Essence All About Matte 
fixing compact powder and this is just kind of like a white uh, matte powder and I used to use it to kind of uh, touch up during the day to kind of mattify my face but it's not my favorite way to use it so the way I'm using it right now is to use it underneath my eyes to set my concealer which I do enjoy so I'm going to use it as that and when I use up the powder that I'm using currently I might use this like all over my face to set my base but my goal for this one I'm not sure I think I will keep it kind of loose if I hit pan quickly then my goal will just be to keep going until I use this up but if it takes a while to hit pan and I don't like I haven't finished up any other products so I need this goal like the pan to use all of the nine categories then I might do that but if I feel like I'm doing well with others then I might just keep going with this one I forgot to mention in the beginning that it starts today on the on September 23rd and then it will run for four months so it's going to end on January 23rd so hopefully we can keep the motivation going just after the New Year's because Sometimes I kind of lose my motivation after that, but yeah, it's going to run until January 23rd. But that was the first product. Then we have a product you bought because of YouTube. And for that, I'm going to go with this Smashbox primer. So this is their just normal photo finish primer. And I don't think this is something I would have gone for if people weren't raving about it on YouTube. Like I wouldn't, it's not a product that I'm necessarily drawn to, like the packaging or yeah. So. I, I bought it basically because I've heard about it on YouTube and because people have been saying that it's good so I want to use this up the I am actually only have a little bit left I am currently down to here as you can see it's not very much left in here and the way I've been using it because I used to use it and I, I didn't really like it and then I used to use it with my fingers but the way I do it now is that I squirt some out on my face just like this from the tube and then I use a beauty blender to blend it out and I actually think that that works really nicely so so, but I will be really excited to use this up. I just don't like it that much and I don't need it in my collection. But yeah, as I said, I'm only here so hopefully maybe I can have this empty in the first update. That will be cool uh, to pull in something else. But yeah, this is going for a product you bought because of YouTube. Then the next category is a product from your favorite brand and that was by far the hardest category. I don't really have a favorite brand. I really, really like my favorite brand for eyeshadows is probably Makeup Geek and Natasha Denona, I think. I really, really like their eyeshadows. I also like the Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I really, really like my, one of my favorite, or like my favorite eyeshadow palettes are the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions and the Be Perfect Carnival palette. So I don't really have like those are kind of my favorite eyeshadow brands and then for everything else it's kind of I don't know it kind of depends on the product and just what area of my face I want to use it like for blush I don't really have a favorite blush brand because I feel like most blushes work on me I have like a fair skin tone and I can make like most blushes work so I don't really have a favorite brand I don't really have like I, I really my favorite concealer is probably the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer but I have I've only tried eyeshadows from Tarte besides the concealer so I can't really say that that is like my favorite brand so I think what I'm gonna do is that I might have one brand that is my favorite drugstore brand. Nowadays I can actually kind of easily get it in store here in Sweden the only thing is that I haven't tried a ton of things from this brand either, but I do feel like it's my favorite drugstore brand. I don't know, but we're gonna go with that. So the brand I'm talking about is Makeup Revolution, and I just recently mentioned this product in my five products I've been loving lately. And this is, as I said, from Makeup Revolution, and it's the Mega Bronzer in O2 Warm. And I will take some pictures of this one. With this one, my goal would be to hit pan. I'm not sure I would be able to do that within this project, but I've just been using it so much recently that I might as well <laughs> put it in a project because I really, really, really enjoy using this one. I think it's a nice shade on me. So 
so yeah as I said I'm gonna put this in for my favorite brand although it's not like my favorite brand because I haven't tried a lot and it's not my favorite brand overall it just might be my favorite like drugstore brand I hope that makes sense and hope you you all agree with me on this or not agree with me but feel like that's fine okay <laughs> to do it like that okay and then the next one is an item in your favorite shade and my favorite shade has all, always been like for eyeshadow it has always been a nice lilac shade I really really like lilac eyeshadows and then for lipstick it has always been like a nude um I don't really feel like panning a lipstick right now I I never do well with lipsticks and recently I've had this obsession with kind of duochrome eyeshadows and so because of that I wanted to pick a duochrome eyeshadow and I've also really been like lusting over the Natasha Denona gold palette recently and particularly the shade called Lime Chrome in this palette and one shade that I have in my collection that I think might be kind of similar to Lime Chrome in the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I'm not saying I won't buy that because I might buy it. <laughs> but a shade that I want to use as kind of a, I don't know, substitute uh, for that palette is from the uh, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. And it's this shade called Electric. And I think this might work for me kind of in the... Uh, setting I am in right now with work. It's not like a super out there shade, but it is still kind of unique. So it has this kind of greeny gold duochrome to it. So I'm not saying like this sh type of, I like I'm not saying this shade is my absolute favorite. I'm saying I really really love duochromes lately and I've been eyeing the Natasha Denona Gold palette. So I want to use this one more and kind of yeah I don't know I should like if I want that then I should have more use on this one do you ever feel like that like I can't just bring in another eyeshadow that is kind of similar without having used this one so I want to use this one more to kind of justify it to myself and yeah so this is going to work for kind of my favorite shade my favorite like type of eyeshadow right now like a duochrome green gold something <laughs> and you all know I love greens and this is kind of the best green to use in like an office setting I believe so because you can use it with neutrals but yeah let's move on <laughs> so the next category is a product from NYX and I don't have a ton of items from NYX I have a few I have like three lipsticks I have quite a bit of eyeliners and then I have some other like miscellaneous products but I decided to go with this one because I've had it in my collection for quite a while and I never use it. This is the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. So on one side you have the highlighting side and then on the other side you have like the contouring side. And I think mostly my goal would be to use this highlighting side but I might use this one as well. But I think if this is done then... I'm gonna consider this a uh, goal met for this product and the way I'm going to use it is that I'm going to combine it with um, the next <laughs> product on my list and that is f uh, something from a lesser known brand and for that I'm going to pick this uh, Dorian concealer by the brand Mulac and this is a Ita an Italian brand and this is in the shade O2 self obsessed and as I said it's an Italian brand and I don't think it's that known. I think Nabla is the most known Italian brand, kind of of the indie brands. Um, but I'm yeah, I want to include this one. I'm almost done with a concealer that I have in another product, so I wanted to include a new one. But this might be a little bit too dark for me uh, in the coming months, like end of October, November, it might be too dark and then I thought I might mix it with this highlighting shade from NYX and then maybe I will get like my perfect concealer shade. I'm hoping for that but there isn't a ton of product in here I believe. It's only 5 milliliters. I mean that's half the size of a Tarte Shape Tape but it's probably more than most mm. concealers. 
The other one, as I said, that I have been using is the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Eraser or whatever it's called, and that one is 6.8 milliliters, so that one is also quite big. Um, but yeah, I would like to use this one up, and I don't really know what I feel about it yet. I don't, I don't have like a an opinion on it, so I want to form like a solid opinion on that concealer during this project as well. And yeah. Those were the six products that I'm going to be using in this project. I'm hoping I will be able to use up the concealer within the four months. I'm also hoping I will be able to hit pan in this one if I focus on it during the next few months. I am sure I will be able to use up the concealer, or not concealer, the primer, maybe even before next update and then yeah, hopefully I can add the last three categories because from that. <laughs> but yeah, that was it for this video. I am so, so excited to watch everyone's up intros. <laughs> updates. I'm so excited to watch everyone's intros and see everyone's intros on the Instagram. Uh, these are like my favorite days of the month when we post the updates and the intros and all of that. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!